Hey guys, Jan from Jan Video Productions here, and today I'll be doing another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do flashback effects in Final Cut Pro 10 without having to install any other inputs or only using items that are built in with Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get started. So first, I'm going to show you a quick example of the flashback that I'll be using uh, or showing you how to do today. So in this case, as you can see in this video, in the beginning of the video, I actually have a few flashbacks, uh, as you guys can see in my project line right now. Uh, this is actually for a short film I recently made for class, and uh, the link to that will be in the description if you're interested in checking that out. Uh, but as you can see, the, the majority of the beginning of this video is is all about these flashbacks here. And as you can see, I have multiple effects and transitions and sounds used uh, to create these flashback-like effects. So let's uh, take a little look uh, a little bit more in depth here. We're going to zoom in a bit on this uh, area of the project line here. Uh, now, of course, a lot of this is, of course, opinion-based for as far as what sounds you you know prefer to use, what effects. However, like I said, all the effects and sounds I'll be using today are standard with Final Cut Pro 10. This basically means that as long as you have a copy of Final Cut Pro 10, you can obviously uh, do this uh, by just following this uh, particular tutorial video here. So, uh, as you can see, this is the normal footage being played right here. In this case, I do have it played in a slight slow motion. Uh, that is just to add uh, suspense and all that. Of course, you do not need that. So. This is a clip that I'll be transitioning to. Now, this is, of course, the, the flashback clip itself. As you can see, we have a slight vignette around the edges. Uh, we definitely have some colder colors. Uh, this, again, this is very opinion-based. However, I think this gives more of a uh, more of a negative, because that's really what I was trying to portray here, more of a negative uh, flashback, uh, something a little more you know bad uh, versus a good memory, right? So that's the, the changing colors, I think, help portray that as well. Um, now, the transition that I actually ended up using was just a simple flash. I'm going to play that a few times. As you can see, that's just a simple transition to white, and then it goes right to the next clip. So if you go into your Transitions tab, uh, all you have to do is just search Flash, and that would be the one I, uh, I used right here. All right, so let's go and play that. That's the exact same one I used. Again, this is you will be able to find this on your Final Cut as well. Now, um, you may not be able to hear this as well with the speakers, but you can see there is also a soundtrack here uh, used for the Flash, which is a very simple, again, built-in soundtrack. Uh, I, I use this one in particular. This is the Air Reverse Burst one. You can find this under your uh, Motions and Transitions tab uh, under the Final, Final Cut Pro 10 Sound Effects tab. This is a very short clip, as you can see. Uh, all I have to do is simply drag this in. Uh, of course, you do need to time it a little bit with the flash. What I did is I had the sound effect at the loudest point uh, right here, which is roughly where the screen turns completely white. I found this to be fairly uh, fairly effective, and the length of the the, uh, the particular soundtrack works really well with the length of the transition as well, both being roughly one to two seconds. As you can see, the song uh, the soundtrack is one second, while the transition is almost two seconds here, and it works fairly smoothly, uh, as you can see. Right there, and actually, when and when it flashes back to the normal clip, I had the transition a little bit shorter. Uh, as you can see, that again adds a different effect, sort of bringing him back to reality, sort of a quicker snap to reality. Uh, but like I said, this is very opinion based here. But this is how I like to do uh, my transitions for this particular video or my uh, well, flashbacks. So I'm going to go ahead and play through this. Uh, as you can see, also keep an eye on the project line to see exactly where I timed the transitions and tracks. Uh, of course, this heartbeat effect you will not, of course, need for this. Uh, however, I again added this to build suspense for the video. Because uh, that's, of course, what I was doing with this particular video. And, um, yeah, so from here it is really all about timing. So, like I said, all the real elements that you need for this particular flashback effect is the soundtrack, which in this case is the air reverse burst one. And, of course, the transition, which, like I said, is the built-in transition, uh, which is just called flash. And then from here you just want to put that in between your clips. I recommend making the beginning transition a little bit longer than the end transition because this way it creates more of a snap back to reality, giving the viewer a, a better perspective of what is the reality while, uh, while also you know, seeing the flashback and what is essentially going on in his mind or, or, or not, of course, not reality, right? So that's what I recommend doing. Uh, for as far as adding, you know, changing colors and stuff, it really depends on what you're trying to portray with your video. As I said before, I'm trying to portray sort of a, a negative, uh, bad sort of uh, flashback here or memory. Therefore, I made the colors a little bit darker, added the vignette effect and the heartbeat to build suspense sort of in the background. Uh, so yeah, like I said, guys, if you guys want to actually check out this short film I made, uh, there will be a link in the description or an annotation in the video. I hope this video helped you guys with creating flashback effects on Final Cut Pro 10. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.